Hello, I'm Jennifer Lee. I was told to report to the matron in charge. Venus and Saturn are now in alignment. It is entirely appropriate that you should appear. Welcome to Nanata's house. What do you suppose that is? One hears of visitors from realms apart from ours. I think it's an aeroplane. is my patient. Pearl Winston. Why am I not surprised? Constable, Mrs. Winston would appreciate your tunic. I don't get any blood on it. Seem worse. They think they can conceal things from me. But they are not sharp enough. I, you see, am attuned to feel vibrations. Only last week, I found a Battenberg hidden inside a Rizzo box. Another slice. I'm almost full. You are young. You can never be filled. You have an appetite for life. Your youngest just weed on the floor. Yeah, I know. We're toilet at training then, but it's all right. You ain't got no pants to wet. Mrs. Winston? Keep an eye on him for me, will ya? There is frost fingering its way beneath the door into the hall. You must take these into bed with you. You are young, you see, and your vibrations will stimulate the corms. They were mistaken into thinking spring had come. I'm very much afraid that they will die and the demise of something barely born goes against the sacred nature of our calling. Sister Monica Joan? What about the ball? But it would be missed. By Sister Evangelina. I'm sure we do not wish to unleash the bee. I think we're all slattens around here, don't you? As a matter of fact, I think you're all heroines. Nata's house, midwife speaking. <sighs> Short staffed again. The new trainee is on her way. I can't deny I'm looking forward to an extra pair of hands. Doreen Riley, she's the twins case in Quebec Street. Don't need an extra pair of hands, we need an octopus. When I get back from Mrs. Riley, I'll contact the aquarium. In the meantime, the new girl's details are on here. Now, approximately 3 to 4% of babies arriving at term are born breech. That is to say, the buttocks and not the head will be the presenting part. Didn't Shakespeare describe Richard III as being breech? Uh, something about him coming into the world with his legs forward. In Poplar, they call it arriving arse first. What? Get a good look, are ya? Be nice. You might well be seeing a lot more of me. All the tenements are full of insects. I'm surprised you haven't seen them before. It's no wonder there's talk of closing the buildings down. There's always been talk. <coughs> They're not hygienic. It's about time. I hold the insect in high esteem. 
I've often wished I had a thorax and a small pair of wings. Who on earth would wish to be an insect? We are all God's creatures. And I would have thought you, above all people, sister, would appreciate a more slender thorax. Behave yourself. It's spread about. The boiler's making all kinds of noises. I don't believe it's currently on the premises. Sounds like someone's clattering about in there. I'm going to take a look. Sister! Sister Bernadette! Sister? Yes? I was thinking, we ought to grow more vegetables in our allotment. Whatever you please. Well, I needed your advice on what to grow because there's so much choice. Carrots obviously are helpful, but also cauliflower is delicious. Do we grow onions? Oh, please stop wittering about vegetables. I could not care less. <laughs> Jenny, are you naked and indecent? Yes, come in. Oh, I've got lacquer in my eye. Well, then hurry up and get it out. There's someone on the telephone for you. But if sympathy wouldn't go amiss. Oh, you poor, poor thing. Is everything all right? Oh, just an overreaction to a tinsy spot of hair lacquer. Shall I take a peek? No time. She has an important call waiting. Oh, exciting. It's Jimmy. We'd never have guessed. <laughs> What a privacy would be more appropriate. It would. Thank you, Chummy. Right, well, I'll leave you to it. Please hold the line for one moment. <sighs> Sorry, Jimmy, I was doing my hair. I just wondered if you fancied going out west tomorrow night. We could go to the cinema that Elvis Presley film is playing. All right, what time? I'll call around about six. Have a drink first. How's that? All right. Bye. Everyone else is a bit childish. That's the point, Cynthia. It's supposed to be fun. I'm trying to find out exactly what's going on with Jimmy. What? Alone for the whole weekend? Jimmy, we couldn't. <gasps> You're a terrible actress, Jenny Lee. And you are all terrible spies. Especially you, Sister Bernadette. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Well? Fish and chips and high society. <gasps> what did he talk about? Horses. His uncle has a farm. What else? We need details, preferably more exciting ones. Grace Kelly. She's awfully good and so attractive. Oh, stop teasing. I've been working. You've waited up especially. I can't believe my intensive course in the art of seduction failed. Yeah, sit down and have some horrid this chummy. He was the perfect gentleman, actually. Oh, damn, how disappointing. Trixie! But you are a woman, chummy, and Constable Noakes is a man. So I imagine that the natural progression of this relationship will... Study on. <laughs> ...eventually <laughs> entail some sort of flirtatious behaviour outside the realms of what is considered gentlemanly conduct. <laughs> Were there any other future outings planned at all? He did ask if I'd like to accompany him to the dance next week. <gasps> but one has so many horrific memories. I couldn't bear to embarrass myself. Well, I used to feel exactly the same, but I've been with Trixie a few times and I actually enjoyed it. I think it depends on the company. So why don't we all go? Yes. Let's go dancing. Oh, that's a splendid idea. <laughs> I promised Jimmy we'd do something together at the weekend. Oh, uh, he could come too. Oh, you'll have a wonderful time. All right, I'll ask him. <laughs> Gosh, it seems I'm going to a dance. Voluntarily. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me now, Ma. <laughs> I take it Constable Noakes is the source of all this excitement. Yeah, it's true what they say, then. There is a sock for every old slipper. <laughs> Catch it, pig! I'm not even going to ask what you're doing with a pig in the middle of Poplar. Bacon. It's the future.
and my mother would very much like to come for tea. I should like that very much. I'll, I'll telephone you with a date. And, um, I'd be very grateful if you didn't bring that thing. <laughs> oh. Quite. <laughs> Lend money, and I won't dance for your entertainment. Other than that, ask away. Could you give me some of your wonderful pig shit? I thought you'd never ask. I will not have rotting matter put into my face. If you don't take this penicillin, you will be rotting matter. I know. I'm getting the silver tongue treatment. Oh. trying to summon up a fart. No, sister, I am praying for strength. The quadrants are in alignment. The moon is in Venus. We are all of us exactly where we should be. Have you anything to say to the sergeant, sister? Yes. Poo to you. What he had prescribed penicillin had he thought recovery would enable me to go out thieving? With respect, madam, Dr. Turner is not charged with curing you of pneumonia. You are charged with larceny, specifically a sapphire ring, a pearl necklace, and a diamond bracelet. You've said prima facie before. You must be precise, my man, and not confuse your terms. If I may interject, sister. Who is this person? He is your barrister, Mr. Briggs. He's not very good. Everyone taking part will get their entertainer badge, apart from Timothy Turner, who'll be getting his musician badge for playing the violin. Now, calling all shepherds. Jack, what about you? Aren't you supposed to be a shepherd? Oh, what blazing light is this? I've grown up, me old dressing gown. You said we had to have dressing gowns. Well, why doesn't Gary take your part? He can be a shepherd, you can play Balthazar. Can I still have a crook? Is. <laughs> now answer my question. <laughs> she's on the list for this evening's rounds, sister. Oh. Well, shall I tell you what else is on this evening's rounds? 21 injections, 16 insulin, 4 penicillin, an ear to syringe, a cannula to drain, and three sets of hemorrhoids to compress. I'm sorry, sister, but the problem was. No, no, that I'll tell did... you what the problem is. You young girls do too much book learning. You sit for months in classrooms, filling your heads with loads of cods wallop when simple practical tasks are beyond you. <laughs> now look what you've made me do! <sighs> oh! Cynthia, modelling for Chummy. She ended up with more children taking part than parts, so she decided to personify the wise men's gifts. And what's that supposed to be? Ma. It's quite straightforward compared to frankincense. Let's have a check of this pulse. Pulse attempted. <sighs> Patient <sighs> demonstrated strong right hook. Right. You awkward old biddy. See what you make of this. And if that doesn't impress you, you can do it again, in a different key. Catch it, Nursley. It's heading for the door. Cat's got it now. It's underneath the chair. Where'er you be, let your wind go free. In church and chapel, let it rattle. 
Good thing there's no naked flames about. <laughs> right. Taking them off, I told you, I'm not, you thieving bisms. Please, Mrs Jenkins, we need you to take them off so you can get you into the bath. You can have them back afterwards. She'll burn them. I am burning your clothes because they're riddled with little visitors. We don't want them infesting <coughs> the clean new bed. 